You're watching Fox 45 Morning News. All local, all morning. These days, it seems you hear about cyber attacks just about every other day. Most recently, the personal information of 4 million government workers was stolen. So what can you do to make sure your information stays safe? Is that even possible in this day and age? Kevin Crane is a retired special agent who's been years conducting personal security investigations. He joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So you have a background in this. You wrote a book about your experiences and uh, kind of walking people through how to get into government and security clearances, then we got to talk about how to keep it all safe. Absolutely. Yes, I did that. Yes. All right. So for people who are trying to get security clearances, well, let, let's start there. What are the things that they need to know? Well, what they should do is prepare to actually complete the application. It's called a standard form 86. It's very long. Uh, they can download a copy from the internet. They will eventually complete it online and it'll be electronically transmitted. But there's so much information, uh, they should gather it all first so they okay. fill it out accurately. But you bring up, you, there is so much information. And if you want these jobs, if you want these security clearances, you have to give that information. But now there's no confidence that the people you're giving it to can keep it safe. It is problematic. On the one hand, you have to give it in order to get the security clearance. On the other hand, you know, will it get hacked, just as it was with the Chinese? I would say, uh, number one, lead a good, honest life so there won't be any issues uh, in your background in case it is hacked. Uh, number two, you might even want to get a certain type of... Um, a uh, company such as a LifeLock mm -hmm. that can actually help you protect your information. Uh, I have it. I even have it for my two-year-old twins and five-month-old son. Wow, we have to start that early. Yes, absolutely. If they have a social, if they security, have a social card. security number, yes. Well, wow. and, and one of the things I was reading that you said, there is virtually no way. To, I mean, thing, there's virtually no way to stop the hackers. I mean, it will it will happen. Correct. The government does its very best. Uh, they have a computer system called Einstein. We spend $356 million annually on this program. They absolutely try their best to protect it. But no matter what we do, uh, another foreign government entity such as China will always try to hack in. Once we become aware of it, we can fix it, but they will continue to try to hack in. So we're always trying to stay on top of it. So just be proactive with the life locks and, and, and be, live a clean life. Yes, that, that's your best bet. It's a very simple answer, but it's the easiest answer. Okay, what's the name of your book? Access Granted. All right, and it talks all about that. It talks about getting the security clearance and what you can do the best you can to keep it all safe. Thank you so much for coming, and we appreciate it. Thank you very it. much.